smear on the sunblock, and head to Shede Boca National Park on Curacao's rugged north coast. The six mile long park features hiking trails, 10 impressive inlets called bocas, crashing waves, ocean views, and man eating iguanas. This park is definitely where you want to head when you want to find some solitude. I mean, there's no one here today. It's like a ghost town and it's beautiful. Your vacation time is important. So here are my pro tips for getting the most out of your visit to Shede Boca National Park. Rent a car and get insurance. Renting a car and driving yourself to Shede Boca gives you the mobility to easily access all of the bocas and explore when and where you see fit. I recommend a sturdy vehicle, such as an SUV, because the drive is rocky and a bit unpredictable. Definitely spring for car rental insurance so you don't get charged for the inevitable scratches and dings. Skip Boca Tabla. Boca Tabla is one of the more popular inlets due to its proximity to the park's entrance. A short walk down slippery rocks reveals a dank, dark sea cave carved out by crashing waves. But just look at this sign! It's dangerous to crawl inside. View it from afar if you must. Make Boca Pistol a priority. Boca Pistol is an impressive blowhole spewing water more than 20 feet in the air. Locals and visitors alike head to its limestone cliffs to look for green sea turtles. Be sure to head here first if you're short on time. Wear hiking or athletic shoes. I really wish someone would have told me this beforehand. Wait for it. Ouch! Gets me every time. You'll be walking around jagged limestone bluffs all day, so do yourself a favor and wear closed-toed shoes, even if it doesn't go with your outfit. I got a little wet. Bring water and go early. Don't get me wrong, it's a little hot. I mean, the average temperatures in Curacao are about 86 degrees Fahrenheit with a really high humidity. So you gotta be prepared to sweat. Straight up, the humidity is a bitch. My advice is to arrive at the park in the morning to avoid the heat. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter how you explore Shede Boca. Just go. This is the jagged, untouched beauty of Curacao in its rawest and purest form. Welcome back to the End Card Showdown! In our most recent battle, group travel and solo travel went head to head. And the winner is group travel at 87%. Huh, I would have guessed that you guys were more independent than that. For this week's showdown, I want to find out what excites you when you travel. Would you rather get to know a destination through its street art scene or learn about local history by visiting a museum? Cast your vote and tune in next time to see the results.